Hey Joe fans, I'm Lenny from Design. Chris from Engineering. And we're here to tell you some more details about the Sky Strikers cockpit. In particular, we're gonna start off with these uh, ejection seats. Chris, you wanna tell about some yeah. of the details? So, as you guys know, every Joe makes it out of the Sky Striker before it gets shot down. Of course, we added ejection seat blast effects for you to reenact any of your favorite scenes. Um, these just plug into the bottom of the seat. That seat actually just plugs into the bottom of the cockpit. Nice and easy, removable piece. Actually, on the back of these seats, we do have the navigator screens, the buttons, anything that uh, the co-pilot needs to help Ace navigate the Sky Striker is right in the back of the seats, ready to go. Um, I'll take, I'll yeah, sure. Else. Yeah, actually, we want to open this seat up because you guys remember in the old Sky Striker where you kind of just like folded up the uh, the, the parachutes and kind of plopped them right in the back. But well, we thought that was a little sloppy, so we went in there and you can actually take that piece off and you can house the parachute inside of the seat. So it was kind of a nice, cool, clean way to do it. Um, and kind of snaps right on top and you can hide them in, hide them in there like just like that. Probably later on we'll show you how the parachutes are coming along, but they're still in development. Uh, so with that, we want to go a little bit more into the cockpit for you guys. So let me just take Ace off of here real quick. Inside the cockpit. Oh! <laughs> inside, okay. inside the cockpit. Uh, we kind of went in, so just like an F-14 Tomcat, the cockpit come, or the canopy comes up just like that. But we wanted to make it easier for you guys to get the figures in and out of the jet. So what we did was we took the front end, comes off just like that, so you put your figures in and out. Um, with that, you can see that we put a, a, a dashboard in there for Ace to pilot the actual jet. And inside is an actual joystick, which the, the Sky Striker never had before. So we really wanted the cockpit to come to life, so we added a lot of details, a lot of button details, a lot of recess details in there, as well as some foot pedals for you. So the cockpit is really coming to life now. Little details. Yeah, the details are what matters. Goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. So there's some more stuff going on with this too. So the front of the nose, uh, Chris, you want to tell us about some of those Gatling gun details? Yeah, so I know the original uh, 1980s toy had the Gatling gun up here in the top right, and, and you know, in a real jet, that impossible it uh, wouldn't be there mm -hmm. so we put it down uh, to the bottom of the nose really to make it just like the cartoon it actually is in line with our little panels that show the Gatlin gun deep sculpted detail uh, as you can see right here it's all in line it also has a little area for you to put your ladder on so your pilots here your, if you have the pit crew members they can help the pilots up the ladders they can get in nice and safely uh, right there, and it connects there. Um, next, we've added this chin pod underneath the nose. Um, as you guys know, there was this kind of this ugly screw boss that was right underneath the nose, and we talked about maybe a screw cap or yeah. we'll fill it in to make it look aesthetically better. And really, in our research, all the F-14s have this this chin pod underneath here, like a GPS, really for your for the missiles. And yeah, we decided, you know what? Let's just cover it up with a. Yeah, I mean, we could have put a plug on there, but it wasn't as fun. And I feel like the bringing the realism to it. If you're if you're playing F-14 Tomcat with the Sky Striker, it's there. So we started adding those details to bring it to life more yeah. and to update it, of course. Of course, of course. And in keeping with our three and three quarter inch theme, we're going to show you some more figures that we grew up with and you guys grew up with, just to kind of keep with the whole. Let's celebrate three and three quarter inch because it was so awesome. And today I have Battle Corps Leatherneck. Look at those giraffe pants. I don't think he's hiding from anybody in there, but I know you guys love the bazookas that we gave back in the day, those missile launchers. And I believe this still works, but I don't think I could shoot at the camera. But yeah, G.I. Joe is an awesome line. It's always been an awesome line. It's so exciting to see it throughout the generations. And it just kind of shows how far we were pushing it at times. And uh, we're just looking forward to the future. So, yo, Joe. Everyone remember to log on to HasroPulse.com by December 7th at midnight to back the Sky Striker.